In the morning of August 2nd, 2007, a masked man shot journalist Chauncey Bailey in an Oakland, California street. As the assailant sped away, Bailey died three blocks from his newspaper office. Bailey's was the first killing of a journalist recorded by CPJ in the United States in 14 years. The vast majority of journalists killed are not battlefield casualties. They are hunted down and targeted for murder. In 9 out of 10 cases, their killers walk free. Worldwide, another 48 journalists were murdered the same year as Bailey. Like him, most were local reporters chasing a local story. Bailey was the editor of the Oakland Post, a weekly focused on the San Francisco Bay Area's African-American community. In the weeks leading to his death, he had been investigating the finances of a local business, your Black Muslim Bakery, a one-time hub of community activism whose owner, Yusuf Bay IV, had recently been tied to criminal activities. Shortly after Bailey's shooting, police arrested bakery employee Devondre Broussard, who confessed, saying he had been motivated by Bailey's investigations into the bakery. But journalists close to Bailey were not convinced. They believed authorities had failed to cover all angles of the investigation. Less than a month after Bailey's death, a group, mostly of Bay Area journalists, met at a local Chinese joint. Among them was CPJ's senior advisor for journalist security, Frank Smythe. Determined to find justice, the group became an ad hoc investigative unit. Their mission? To monitor the police investigation and independently conduct their own. And so was born the Chauncey Bailey Project. In the year that followed, the project used police evidence and other information available to the public, such as phone records, to uncover a series of irregularities in the police investigation. The findings were published in local and national media. Following the airing of a secret police video that showed Bay bragging about the murder, local authorities opened a second and independent inquiry. That's wow, wow. Daddy, you see a In April 2009, the shooter, Broussard, testified against the mastermind Bay and his accomplice, Antoine Mackey. In June 2011, four years after Bailey's slaying, Bay and Mackey were sentenced to life in prison. CPJ research shows that the conviction of a mastermind in a journalist's murder is extremely rare. The Chancey Bailey Project showed that justice could be served by journalists banding together and conducting an independent and exhaustive investigation and using media as an advocacy tool.